This is the story of the best Cummins engine ever manufactured. First designed in the late 1980s, the Cummins N14 diesel engine was sent into full production in 1991 as a replacement to the vastly popular Cummins 855 Big Cam produced between 1976 and 1985. Quite possibly the best Cummins engine ever produced, the N14 featured top-of-the-line engineering fundamentals paired with one of the first electronic control system. It was used in a wide range of applications, including trucks, buses, and construction equipment. Part of the 1 Million Mile Club, the N14 was designed with outputs ranging from 310 to 525 horsepower for the Select Plus models, capable to turn out 1,850 pound-feet of torque at 1,200 RPM. In 2001, the X-Series replaced the N14 when emissions regulations passed by the EPA made the amazing piece of engineering pretty much obsolete. Gone but not forgotten, the Cummins N14 is by far one of the most reliable engines ever manufactured. It only took one Caterpillar dozer to push this 40-foot blade. In the late 1970s, Balderson out of Wamigo, Kansas was commissioned to build insane heavy-duty dozing attachments for Caterpillar bulldozers, such as the legendary 48-foot Double Dude previously covered on the channel, and the much more maneuverable Big Dude. Just like the Double Dude, the Big Dude was mainly designed for spoil pile reclamation in coal mines. Using a concept known as the Uniflow, the gigantic Balderson blade was exclusively used by contractor Russell & Sons in business since 1944. The 40-foot Big Dude, labeled as Balderson Reclamation Angeling Plow, was mounted on a Caterpillar D9G rated at 385 horsepower. But just like the Double Dude, the Big Dude would soon face the same destiny as its big brother. Hit by new regulations in the mining industry, the Dudes, also known to be extremely difficult to maneuver, were retired at a very early stage. One of the blades, not sure which one, sat in Russell's yard in Longview, Texas for many years. This is the story of the most complicated dozer of all time. In 1953, General Motors purchased the Euclid Company with one precise goal, producing modern dozers good enough to compete with one of the uncontested leaders in the crawler segment, Caterpillar, and so was born the TC-12 Bulldozer. With two prototypes operational as early as 1954, the first commercial units, powered by two GM671 diesels, each powering one track through an Allison Torquematic transmission, were delivered the following year to customers. The TC-12 was divided into halves that oscillated longitudinally and independently of each other. It ran with separate Allison gearboxes so operators could keep one track going ahead and put one in reverse for unparalleled maneuverability and control. Going through upgrades over the years, the Euclid TC-12 became the T-Rex 8280 from 1966. Too complicated for its own good and known for its questionable reliability, the unique dozer was discontinued in 1974. This is the story of the almighty towhaul trailers. Founded in 1977 by entrepreneur and engineer Frank Smith, towhaul, established in Belgrade, Montana, has since become a global leader in the off-road hauling industry. If you work in surface mining, my guess is that you've probably been around the amazing tow hauls. One of the company's greatest innovations is without a doubt the gooseneck trailer, which provides unmatched flexibility and capacity for transporting oversized machines. Every piece of equipment manufactured by tow hall is 100% customized to fit the client's needs. Offering low boys with capacities up to 1,600 tons, tow hall, awarded countless times in the past, also designs and manufactures dragline bucket transporters engineered to completely eliminate the needs for cranes and other auxiliary equipment. From the Australian outback to the Arctic Circle, over 250 tow hauls are currently running all around the world as the American company remains dedicated to pushing the boundaries of what's technologically possible in the mining industry. Great success story. This is the story of heavy equipment dealer JJ Shekel. J.J. Shekel Heavy Equipment Corporation was founded in 1996 by Josh Shekel in Bellevue, Iowa. Experiencing phenomenal growth in the early 2000s, the company remains one of the world's fastest growing dealers thanks to clever marketing strategies. Focused on rebuilding, renting, servicing, and selling late model, low hour Caterpillar equipment, J.J. Shekel has since its creation rented heavy construction and mining machines in every U.S. state and shipped iron to every continent in the world. Maintaining a 30,000 square foot service facility and offices, JJ Shekel Heavy Equipment contributes to the development and well being of the Bellevue community, as the Shekel name has been in this very small rural town for almost 175 years. Highly present on social medias, 
JJ Shekel gained worldwide virality several times with videos like this one. On top of dealing with heavy equipment, Josh Shekel owns and operates several farms with his wife Angie and their seven kids. Simply inspiring. Here's the story of the amazing K-Tech scrapers. In the winter of 2000, Canadian blue-collar Ken Rempel built his first 26-yard scraper after spending more than 900 man-hours on the manufacturing and design. Four years later, Ken's company would enter full production, selling 41 units that year. In 2006, the K-Tech name was officially applied to every scraper produced. The same year, the company introduced the 1233, a scraper using a modular, bolt-together design allowing for affordable international container shipping and minimal maintenance. Designing the easiest loading scrapers on the market, K-Tech offers a large range of products including direct mount scrapers, articulated dump truck scrapers, or train scrapers such as the 1237, able to move up to 74 cubic yards in one pass. Located in Rosenort, Manitoba, K-Tech Earthmovers also manufactures Ashland scrapers, land levelers as well as ejector boxes such as the 4X, specifically designed to be mounted on Volvo A40 and A45 articulated dump trucks.